Thanks for the opportunity. Good afternoon, everybody. Paul Soul, CEO of the Florida High Tech Corridor. As we were talking earlier, uh, I've been in this role now about four years. I think I presented this group after my first year. I've learned a lot. Uh, the corridor has changed a lot. And at the same time, one program that uh, that I'm going to highlight today has continued to, to offer impact across the region, and that's our Matching Grants Research Program. I'm going to talk a little bit about the corridor itself and then dive right in. Um, probably the most important slide is the last one. So if you want to take a picture of that, and it and it has to do with who actually runs these two programs, one at UCF and, and USF. And so you'll see that uh, in the uh, at the at the end of the show. So the corridor itself, a little background, founded in 1996, uh, really to drive high-tech economic growth in what was then. Uh, kind of the I-4 corridor between Tampa, St. Pete, and the Space Coast in a vision. And that's where we've come from today, and, and we continue to grow and, and offer opportunities uh, in, that, in that region. Um, what we really try to do and what we're showing here is the, the core part of this organization, I have three co-chairs, the presidents of UCF, USF, and UF, so that center block of university research and innovation enterprises is kind of the center of everything. And then what orbits around are those folks, and you can find yourself in one of those bubbles, the entrepreneurs, the investors, that funding piece. We do some work in K through 12, the economic developers and the entrepreneur support organizations, all sort of flowing around that university and research, uh, research and innovation enterprise. Um, this, this is the team. These who, uh, these are the three that I report to, uh, across the, uh, across the corridor. And that keeps us aligned with what the universities are doing. I'm not going to cover all the strategic initiatives, but what I'll show you is matching grants is in the upper left. That has been here since the very beginning. Um, and it, and I'll describe that program in detail. I can't wait to get your questions. Cause like I said, at the end, I'm going to funnel those questions that I can't answer to the program managers that actually run it. Um, the other thing I would say on the left-hand side to look at is the importance of SBIRs and STTRs for, for companies that have that Small Business Innovative Research Grant, we can actually match on top of that. So you, you might have a small company that wants to do research that all of a sudden gets an SBIR grant, we can actually match right on top of it and sort of multiply that investment factor, uh, which I think is uh, is important. So what do we do? What, what actually, what's the result of this thing and kind of how do we do it? So across the corridor, we're really trying to accelerate that collaborative research and innovation. It's, it's not easy. I mean, professors are busy, researchers are busy, small companies are busy. Um, and the corridor is busy, but what we're really trying to do every year with about 1.5 to $1.7 million, both at UCF and at USF, um, we try to work with companies, pair them up with faculty and really spin out that innovation. The, we work, um, it's that expert faculty piece it's the companies that are trying to do a cost-effective way to get into the university to do research, to be able to get that solution-driven research with tangible impact. So it's, it's technology for a reason. And then that middle check in the block, what we really strive to do is involve students. And you'll see some of the facts, uh, some of our stats for last year on the students that we get involved in, uh, in our programs. And that's a lot of times where I find I get a, a lot of energy is talking to the companies that participating in matching grants with professors and seeing the students that are that are involved. Um, so there is a there is a key to a strong project. And and if you've never heard about matching grants, that's OK. I'm going to have you connect with if it's at UCF, um, our director of this matching grants program, which is Jennifer McKinley. So if I'm speaking uh, a foreign language, don't worry, she's the expert in this stuff. There are keys to a strong, a strong project. One is it needs to be have mutual value to everybody involved. So we want to be able to invest in uh, and match dollars that come into companies. I'll, I'll reiterate, this is money that doesn't go to the company. The company comes in, we match on top of that and, 
and pay to the university. But it's it's lessons that we've learned about most successful projects, that the company is receiving the expertise that it needs, that the faculty member who's busy on the research has can use the students and access the company and what they're doing. And then uh, um, the idea of a collaborative mindset to really work together. This isn't Matching grants is not transactional. I'm not interested in, in, okay, here's the transaction, go do whatever you're gonna do. We really are ecosystem builders across the high tech space. And we are interested in teams that, and what we've seen is the, this collaborative mindset. Uh, lower left realistic expectations. Hey, I've learned, I was in the Navy for 33 years. I wasn't in the high, in the, uh, in the, in the academic world. I know that there are competing priorities with uh, with researchers and funding and all that sort of thing. So we want to set realistic expectations on your project that the company has clear goals, the researcher has clear goals, the students are involved, and that's and that's an important piece. And then the funding side, perhaps one of the biggest misconceptions out there, at least when I came in, was they said, oh yeah, we've heard of matching grants, but you're always out of money. We're, we're not. We're, um, we have, again, one, about 1. 1.7 million every year that we put toward projects that, that, uh, that fit the requirements. So that, that's, uh, I'll, I'll foot stomp that one as we go. So what is the process just in general? And again, I'll, I'll highlight at a 50,000 foot level, but really, uh, to get into the into the weeds, uh, we've got program managers both at UCF and USF. Um, so in, on the UCF side, Jennifer McKinley will help uh, facilitate that connection between industry and partners, uh, and make and Elizabeth Nelson on the USF side does the same thing. The application is pretty straightforward. Uh, it helps us answer a lot of questions because then we send it to a committee. And that committee is made up of some faculty, some outsiders to be able to review it. Uh, we make it official and then folks get to work. It's, it's pretty quick. And I think that's one of the strong points of, of this program is it's already in place. We know how to do this. We are particularly looking for um, companies and researchers that haven't been a part of matching grants. And we like to we like to do that because that we begin to uncover sort of the special things that are that are out there. Um, so that that's the uh, process in general. Uh, technology focus area. There is a whole long list that you see. We align our technology focus areas to the strategic priorities of the universities that that are involved. That's important to us because our funding flows through the universities. Um, we've supported projects that test companies' VR training. We've optimized uh, a bunch of different things with companies. We help in lab testing. There's all there really is. It's unlimited on the ideas that we take to a project. And and it from my point of view, um, I really like the new ones that are coming out, especially cross collaboration projects. If you have uh, two different colleges working together, or even we've had the case where we've had um, faculty between the universities work together on uh, on projects, because then we carry that story forward and get it out to the ecosystem to say, hey, this is what happens. I, time and time again, I often hear from small companies that say, I can't work with the university. I don't know what door to knock on. We, we can We can help that. We can, we can help figure out what door to knock on to be able to do projects uh, like this. This is, so at the end of uh, last, uh, last uh, fiscal year, again, between the two universities, $3.4 million invested in 44 research uh, projects with 33 industry partners. You can see on the whiz wheel on the right-hand side, the technology areas that, um, that we do. We, we look to keep that um, uh, diversified. And, and so that we're not just focused on one particular thing. Uh, and that's an important. And then the other number that I love is the student researchers that are supported. Uh, that is when I look at projects and I see multiple students, both undergraduate and graduate students involved in this kind of research, 
Um, I know that what we're doing collectively is building the workforce for the future. And that's either workforce and industry, or it is a PhD candidate that's coming to the university. Um, those things are uh, those things are important. So now to the most important slide, and I know these slides go out and you can take a picture of this as well. Um, my right and left arms in this program and what makes it run. If you haven't met Jennifer McKinley, and she's been with us now about two years, please reach out to her. Even if you don't think that you have any idea that you'd even use this program, just reach out because she loves to stay. She came from the UCF Tech Transfer Office. Um, and so she's well aware of what's going on at UCF. And likewise, if you are either from USF or in the Tampa Bay region or have been doing work with, uh, with USF, one of our goals in the corridor um, is to help President Cartwright, President Law, and President Sass have universities work together. Um, that's, a, that's an important piece. Um, so those are the those are your experts. Um, I will stop sharing and I am interested in questions coming my way.